about this shit. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Read Hate the Equestria 2. Oh, let's read. I'm your host, Duhan, and joining me as always are our narrator, Meyer. Hello. Nero. <laughs> Winter. Moo. Belial. Hi. And providing comic relief in the background, Zombie Cam. <laughs> I keep knocking them dead, buddy. Wow, zombie. <laughs> yeah. posts, you always posts, know what to say. Woo, Moving swiftly chat. along. Yeah. Moving swiftly <laughs> along, we return to A Haze in Equestria 2, The Twiles of Love by Silver Haze. A continuation of the story of Prince of Princess Silver Haze and his princesses Luna and Twilight take place three weeks after Haze in Equestria. Uh, <laughs> there's a new, the format, there's a new format to the is. site, so... <laughs> The hazy kind chapter one looks at the past, dot, dot, dot. Yes, the hazy kind chapter one look at the past. Narr A few Narr weeks Narr had passed since the incident with Fluttershy. And she appears to be doing better, but she still don't want to talk about it. Silver couldn't talk help but feel like the house in the Everfree felt nostalgic. <laughs> and similar for some reason. But he took that few og his mind. But he shook. Yeah. Although the what thought kept coming back, mainly room. because of the gibberish of the Alicorn he saw. <laughs> he looked so familiar to him, like he's seen him in Alicornia. Oh, God, Scene no, transition. Dee, 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 dee. Oh, fuck, I forgot his Alicornia brother. Alicornia has about that. Dee, 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 dee. The little toddler haze gooed and looked very cute as it bounced about in its crib. As it? So he had not developed genitalia. Alright, so this is all my fucking... Goddamn, right past my goddamn window every single time. I, I know that the story is bad, but it's yeah. not that bad. I didn't have yes. a heart attack yet. Yeah. <clears throat> right, this one looks southern. So this is King Crown. Are you King sure Crown's he's open. the one? Are you sure he's the prince? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you King Crown? Is this one mine? <laughs> oh my god, this is Lord Warmonger from... Oh Give my it. god, right, okay. <laughs> yes, he was the first alicorn to appear on the island of friendship since... Well... You, my lord. Said Lord Warmonger Hope. Keeper. <laughs> Keeper of the peace on the Isle of Alicornia. Oh, I forgot the. It's like it's Keeper like if Hitler was called King Genocide. Well, it's, it's not even that. It's, it's King Genocide Hope. It's like King Genocide Sunbeam. Like the fuck. What did I miss? Lord Warmonger. Lord better. Warmonger Hitler, Hope. Hitler's real first name was Genocide. Ge War Genocide Hope. Sunshine. Hope. Uh, my king, it would be a great honor if you could give me, if, if you could give, if I could, if I could give you my son to protect your child until he's old enough to rule on his own. A secret protection, if you will. <laughs> yes. It doesn't need to be secret. Warmonger Hope asked. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, no. You don't have to do that for me. Why is he said Santa the king? Claus? <laughs> but I must. I must. I insist. Oh, so that's that's fuck. They, they keep on like changing yeah. like the speaker. The it's same in the paragraph. same paragraph. Yeah. But I must. I insist. Said Hope, and the king relented, agreed. <laughs> Silver Hay looked out of his crib at the one beside his and saw a blue female alicorn filly with a lighter blue mane, and Silver couldn't stop staring at her. Okay, staring so, at a, her? A, a, a. God fucking damn it. <laughs> mm. please, please, like, fill time for just a moment. What? Hello, everyone. My Welcome. name is up, everybody. Sounds Welcome to Juhada's Missing the Musical, uh, part 2.5. Uh, okay, okay. okay. The, the, the what is part up, part. everybody? So, so Lazy here. Just to keep in mind Lazy town. a couple of important things here. A, Baby Silver Haze, like, just born newborn Baby Silver Haze is already, like, getting horny for another baby in the crib next to his. And B, 
we seem to be implying that like this dude is like might very well just be saying like here I've got a like you, you just had a new baby I got a new baby you can have my baby protect your baby we'll be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just thought of something. It's like Silver Haze just looks over at the, at the crib next day and he goes, Oh, girl, this ain't a pacifier, but you can sure suck on it. I will fucking stab you <laughs> in the face. Line. What is your son's name? Asked King Crown. His name is Shielded. Shielded Hope. Hope looked at another crib that held a sleeping navy blue alicorn with a long blonde mane and blue eyes. I put uh. him in a little, like, bodyguard suit and everything. He'll be perfect. <sighs> Silver turned to where the adult pony was pointing, and Silver found himself looking at the other pony. Something about him made Silver stick his tongue out and stomp at his crib. But then he looked at the other alicorn and smiled again. The filly looked back and smiled at him. The filled moved to the edge of the crib and put a hoof out from the bars, but the two hooves couldn't reach which made both fillies upset. Silver sat back, an upset look on his face, shielded, looking sideways, began to try and climb his way up the crib. Stopping, Ow. he realized he was being watched. Wait, he, he has wings. Smiled. He Wait, has wings. Hold, hold on. So we, hold on. Are they referring to Silver Pays as a filly? Yes. No, 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 no. They're talking about... Uh, no, they're, they're saying... They, um, he did, yeah. The, the author okay. did, or she did. Yeah, yeah, so, she, so, uh, King Crown so, smiled. Uh, his prince, his son, would be safe, and that was all that ever mattered. But, like, can we just like point out the fact that apparently not only are these tiny babies already forming emotional attachments, one of them, Shielded Hope, seems to already be like plotting villainous action. Where he's like sneaking up the bars, like, "Oh shit, people are looking at me." Slide scene transition. <laughs> yeah. Did it, did it, did it. Alicornia Training Institute, 17 years later. Yeah! Silver hey. let out a shout of victory as he pinned down the training pony he was practicing against. Finally, Silver was 20 years old and his training That's... had been going very well. Wait, so he was three years old in that? Wow. What? He had oh, a is this your newborn later. child you had? Uh, he had a hook ball game later wait, in the week. Wait, he couldn't, he couldn't, he was in a crib and he had to crawl out at three years old? Jesus. Yeah. This Silver, is... uh, oh, later in the week. And Luna said she'd get a reward from her if he won. Mm. So Silver was pumped. 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 <laughs> yeah. And he showed it in his training. Silver sat down and grabbed a drink on the bench. And after five of have, having a break... <laughs> Uh, he was ready to practice again. <laughs> he saw a blue pony with a blonde uh, mane, and he went up to him greeting. Wait, but blonde... That was the correct spelling. Female blonde. No. Yeah, no this is oh, the... for female blonde, yeah. yeah I, think, I think this is like... Then the... again, in the entirety of the last paragraph, uh, the author called them fillies, which is the female. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this is also the, the blonde-maned dude who is, like... He, he's the it's DM. Griffith. He's the, the, the brother. Like it's the Griffith. Brother. I, I also think he's more of a Dio, but oh, alright. Yeah. Dio. Yeah. Greetings! You look like a strong alicorn. Would you be up for a little sparring? No, so no, a singular greeting. Greeting. <laughs> the pony seemed <laughs> to be <laughs> for a while, and then accepted. A crowd had formed as the two alicorn most known for their athletics, the outgoing offensive silver against the quiet, capitalized yet high defense of Shielded Hope, had come to fight. Wait, hold on, so, so we've already established like less than a paragraph ago that, or like a paragraph ago that the the, the Sil Shielded Hope is going to be the lifelong bodyguard of Silver Haze. Silver Haze mm -hmm. meets him on the quad 17 years later. He's like, hello, stranger. Care for a friendly bout? Like, yeah. Apparently, these motherfuckers, like, he did not do his fucking job. Apparently. Or now it's Not only is he not doing over. his job, he's doing the exact opposite of his job. <laughs> he's staying the fuck away from this dude so long that he has no idea who he is. Despite the fact that he has a reputation that, as one of the best April. athletes. Along with that, now he's trying to beat him up. April, maybe he just didn't want to protect him. That's true. He was defined I as wouldn't elders. blame him. He didn't want protection. Silver Haze doesn't need protection. 
<laughs> All right. It wants to be fight. shielded. So this is who the fuck is talking here? It said shielded. shielded. Okay. Now silver. You can give us voice. All right. You can you can take this one. Uh, winter. winter. Fuck it. Now silver. If you want. If you want to forfeit during any point of the fight, I would advise you to. It will not hurt my opinion of you. I do not mean to dishonor you by being overconfident. Overconfident but, is one word. Yeah. But my skills are designed to hunt and counter those who use magic such a... Who use you, you're all alicorns, you stupid asshole. Yeah. Like, everyone here uses magic. It's like saying I have been trained in the martial arts used to fight people who have two arms. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well then, it was a shame persona. because I have one arm. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Is that the persona of uh, she has no arms. Is the narration bit. I already said it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> You'll be the one who will need to forfeit... After I'm done with you, Silver said cockily, cutting off the alicorn as the crowd began to ooh and cheer for Silver. Ooh, shit. <laughs> Alright, Bleal, you're Luna now, I guess. Win fit for me, somehow. We're Luna's voice came from the crowd. The alicorn nodded respectfully and took up his position at one side of the circular ring, and Silver did a backflip, charged up his blood magic, and licked his lips ready for another victory, and with that, the fight was on. Is this Majima? The fight is on! I... Silver took the first move, a blast of raw magic, followed by a tackle. It was no match for Shielded and, and his discipline. He shot the beam worth one of his own, and quickly followed up with a short-range teleport behind Silver and a buck to send him flying backward. <laughs> Silver hit the wall, leaving a dent. Once again, the crowd oohed. Oh, shit. I underestimated you. Perhaps I should steed up my game a bit. Silver said, still keeping his cool. Silver sent a rapid fire beam from his horn, and like a Gatling gun utilizing his blood magic, channeling his own life force into the brutal attack, weakening him, but sending a more devastating attack at his foe. So Shielded was hit with a barrage of magic, and some managed to hit him, but in a way that didn't cause much damage due to, the sh due to Shield's barrier, tactical position, and spectral shield made of light he quickly summoned. Curse those warmongers and their order magic manipulation skills. There's Your father is the narrator. warmonger. <laughs> Wait, hold on. So it's, Silver... it's, it's, the, it's the Hope family, but it's the warmongers as a as a collective. Yeah. And also, like this is a friendly sparring match, and so he's like, okay, let's have a friendly sparring match. Fucking Please. slice my hands open, draw out my life force, and power up my like most devastating self-destructive magic. Also, How really is the get heroes? a tad frustrate. I, I'd no. like to acknowledge that that last line uh, was entirely the narrator. Yeah. So including curse those warmongers and their order <laughs> magic manipulation skills. Well, it's like an old-fashioned like radio narrator, like curse those warmongers and their and their order ma yeah. magic manipulation skills. Curse his fucking father, what a shitty dude. <laughs> Silver began to get a tad frustrate. No other alicorn was able to stay in the ring with him this long. His blood magic was designed to be used in short burst, and every second that passed lowered his chance of winning. Silver decided to go a bit more physical. Silver flew into the air, with the intent to hit Shielded with his wing. Silver swooped down, but Shielded grabbed Silver's wing last minute and swung him into the wall, leaving uh, yet another dent. The crowd began to whisper in thought that Silver might lose. Wait, okay, Dude, this, oh, why, this would, guy, why would you hit him lose. with your wing? That it's like, isn't that, part of your wing. Wing. Keep, keep isn't that like an extremely fragile part of the body? Yes. A, A, yes. B, apparently they're fighting in a ring match, like where there's just like a ring on the floor and it's whoever gets pushed out first loses. But it's also a walled ring that you can like bounce people <laughs> off of by like slamming them into a metal <laughs> wall. Jen? It's made of concrete and spikes. Yeah. In, an, in another angry attempt to take Shielded down, Silver finally sondered up his two-sword with the intent for blood. 
Shielded got a bit warp whoppery. <laughs> whoppery. whoppery. <laughs> I'd this like this was to a order school a zone, <laughs> not a place to be playing around with the sharp sword. And his training had yet to fully reach him. How to deal with this? For now, he had to improvise. Oh, Time seemed God. to slow down for Shielded as he thought about how to deal with the sword sand, sword and then he sand? got an idea. Silver ran. One of his swords was above his head like a scorpion's tail. The other was at his side, ready to swing. Shielded nimbly ran under Silver as the sword on top of Silver lunged into the ground. And Shielded flew up the way of the other sword that had been thrown at him quite quickly by Silver. Shielded now, with the opportunity to strike, conjured up a large hammer-like weapon made of magic. Taste the Warhammer of Light! Shielded oh, yeah, yeah, the, uttered. The guy with the Warhammer of Light who's not pulling out sharp blades and cheating <laughs> yeah. in a sparring match, he's the villain. Its he's... size easily was three times. It's like if size. Dio was actually Jonathan. Yeah. And it enveloped Silver with magical damage, not crushing damage. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, Silver... yeah, write that down for the sheets. Yeah, in, oh, that shit. case, uh, in that case, it's only a D6. Damn it, my protection is worn off. Should have worn a Trojan. landing face back to Silver a good ten feet away, a swarm of students surrounded Silver, with Luna kneeling beside him. Let me before, suck your dick. Before, before Shielded walked away, Silver spoke up. What's your name, asshole? He said angrily. Angrily. The name Shielded Hope Young, sire. He said and walked off. I will not forget this, you prick. He this is serious. Oh my God. This is seriously the fucking like anime, like you know the beginning of the anime where there's like the bully and shit. Yeah. And, like Silver's the bully. Yeah, well, he has like, like the entire crown he, he, is with him. He, he, everyone loves him. Everyone magic. expected him to win. He cheated in order to get the advantage. He uses way more dangerous magic in order to win, and when he wins. That's when he calls after his defeated opponent. I won't forget this. No, he <laughs> lost. Silver just lost. Did he? No, because everyone's just surrounded Silver. Yeah, because he lost. Oh. They're trying to comfort him because he. Oh right, because he's they're trying to comfort him during this because... devastating time in his life. God, this story's confusing. Yeah, this dude's such. A also, Sire is not a good word to use there. This is a uh, shielded. It's yeah. really hard to tell. I doubt you will, young prince. Oh, yeah, it's winter. No, yeah, see. I doubt you will, young prince. I seriously doubt you will. Use this as motivation, then you'll forget. Because what the fuck am I saying? Can I get shielded as the main character? Beat yes. me because you could not before. Not, not because I beat you. Vengeance will gain you nothing but blindness. And with that, the alicorn left the gym. Oh yeah, uh, our, our villain, ladies and gentlemen. I had to go to chem class now. I gotta <laughs> renew my yeah. Gotta renew my gym subscription, my gym membership. Topical our our, my our villain is the one who is saying you will not gain anything from vengeance. Our hero is the one that's going. I I'm going to kill you, you for everything that you've done. In this training match, beep 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 beep. Silver Hayes remembered the fight he had with Shielded. And he was filled with rage. Could that have been him? That piece of shit? That pony who beat me all those years ago? Silver pondered. No but just then, Twilight walked in the door of the Ponyville library. Welcome back home, Twy. I said to my favorite purple alicorn as I kissed her passionately on the lips. Meyer, come on, dude. That's, that's Hayes' girl. Oh well, I could deal with Skyrim stealing stealing his girl. (laughs) Yeah, stealing one of his three or four fucking girls. Mr. Steal Your Girl. Steal Your Girl. Mr. Steal Your Third Bitch. I could deal with what him being here meant later for now. He had a sexy purple unicorn ready for his cock. Meanwhile, scene transition. (laughs) A pony dressed in black robes appeared at the edge of the Everfree Forest and looks into Ponyville. I have I finally found you, Prince. I have finally found you, Prince Silver Hayes. It said, and with that, it created another Alcreon. Alec- your <laughs> name 
is platinum. Mist. <laughs> you are from Alicornia, but you survived its fall, apparently. It? Are you With doing the an Aku voice? <laughs> okay, hold on. I wasn't, but I, I'm right. It? Like, it? Aku. I want you to find Silver Haze, make friends with him, and lead him to me, so I may take his soul. Okay, he so said to what? the Alicorn, revealing what? his evil plan to the camera. What what is his motivation on this? Like why why He's does evil. he want to? I... He wants to take his soul. <laughs> it's a twist. He's actually the good guy. Uh, uh, he said to the alicorn, apparently named Platinum Mist. Platinum Mist had a light gray coat with a green blue mane and regal blue stripes in them. Platinum flew off into Ponyville, ready to start his mission. Scene transition again. Silver Haze fell uh, through the air, the crisp morning happiness causing him much joy. He quickly found out that the Everfree was a good way to have a good morning by running quickly, no period. Suddenly, Silver heard a call from below him, wrong heard. Uh, Nero, I You well. Naruto voice. <clears throat> no. Princess! <laughs> <laughs> Come on! They were referring to him as a filly earlier. True. Prince! Prince, is that you? I the thought you died like a year ago. The voice called. Silver looked That's down and then quickly really flew down, voice. not be leaving his eyes. Not be leaving his eyes. It like was another German? alicorn, like all the other alicorns that aren't that uncommon. Oh Silver's my God. heart rate is going a thousand miles per hour for this thing that he shouldn't be fucking excited about. He could at, not even comprehend what was going on. Alone. Also, just from, from a writing standpoint, like... This is the this is not Silver Haze being like oh my god it was an alicorn. This is the narrator going like oh my god another alicorn. Where could this one could have come from? It could have been the person I just narrated being brought into existence. <laughs> another of his kind. Five exclamation points. Silver landed and walked quickly towards the alicorn. Brother, <laughs> are you all right? How did you escape? All? <laughs> the alicorn smiled, tears in his eyes. What? Oh, my Whoa. prince brother, I am Platinum Mist. I'm most pleased bum, bum, bum. to make your acquaintance. <laughs> I managed to escape through a hole the guards opened in the fog for you. I think I was one of the only ones that made it. Doesn't seem that fucking way. The alicorn said excitedly. <clears throat> Well, brother, then I shall ask you your stature, as you see what rank of alicorn survived. If you were a lowly plebeian, then fuck off back to hell. I want someone to make this a professional, like, comic series. <laughs> I, a noble of the platinum family. Is this fucking Japan? No, of, of the platinum <laughs> Not platinum, platinum. Like they share their last, their familial last names, but their name, their house names is named after the first name of the first character we meet with the, from that family. Yeah. <laughs> oh, platinum son. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> God damn. <Stop. laughs> I, a noble of the platinum family, we were based off generosity. And produced magically enhanced ores for the royal smiths to use in their enchanted magic smithing weapons like the magnificent Wait. one you use. So they used enhanced ore to, uh, for them to make magical magnificent weapons. Yes. Is this ore or uranium? Is this an <laughs> uranium? smiled at the compliment. His blade was something few complimented in the simple society Equestria was. He was glad to find another one of his brothers to converse with. They don't... It, they don't like my katanas. They don't like looking at my sword. I no one appreciates the katana. The blood magic is underpowered in D20. <laughs> <laughs> well, Platinum... We must go into town. There are many ponies who would be who would delight in knowing my kind. Her kind is not one hundred percent dead, except for me, Luna, Celestia, Twilight, Cadence, Cadence, uh, that the one, one dude kid. I met in Tartarus, um, or Seal Wolf. 
Steve, Order. Eric, and all the other Alicorn OCs. That yeah. one wolf that took on Pinky, who was a serial killer. Well, we don't talk about that. Different story, but anyway, <laughs> continuing. Uh, now come, oh, brother. He's dead. Now come, brother, friend. Let us go. Silver <laughs> said, "Be conning the Alicorn behind him." Oh my God! No beckoning. <laughs> yeah. oh, spelled cor- oh, incorrectly. Good. The that, navy that's... blue. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, the navy blue hooded alicorn stood on the forest edge, munching on his apple as, as a single glowing blue eye gazed upon the imposter and the bloodluster. He saw the hole in the fog close himself. There were no survivors that way. His order Wait. magic was repulsed by whatever this thing was. Oh Still, my God. he did not act. Despite guy? what his morals told him, whatever it was posed no threat, and there was more to gain from observing this thing. He knew not what created it, and hopefully this abomination, abomination would lead him right back to its sorke. This where Obama he would deal nation. some real damage. Oh my god. Jesus, he or... just called a past yeah. friend a fucking yeah. abomination. Yeah, oh my Besides, god. Besides, the only one that stood to be hurt was Silver Ha. The alicorn winced <laughs> as the mana storing rune on his neck load. He was <laughs> overexerting himself. He had not slept in days, and using his energy to dispel Silver's death curse put him in a bad state, for now he would rest. Though he no longer feared death, he would much rather it mean something more than just being another body tossed to the side because he acted without thought. Hold on. One, one, one moment. One moment. I oh suck. my god. Order magic. Was Silver Hayes right in assuming this character who was just introduced at the beginning of the chapter is actually the villain? Yes. What? He sighed. This is Some a days, and everything Hope is wished, as it seems. Hope wished he had gone down the path of blood magic. If only for the limitless power they seemed to have. The only way warmongers kept <laughs> up was storing excess mana through their runes. And when those ran out, warmongers were nothing more than well-trained soldiers. <clears throat> Excuse me. Of course, they didn't have to worry about being driven insane. S-A-I-N. <clears throat> they didn't have to worry about the consequences of what they had to give to gain their power. Wait. They <clears throat> didn't worry about what they stood to lose. What they yeah, would do to they, their own they, family. They, For they, what? They, Power? They, wealth? They, attention? They, was it worth it? Was, yeah. Why is the narrator screaming? All his gears <laughs> grinded to a halt. He became aware of those tears that had started flowing at some point. It was his tired body, nothing more. He needed rest. Silver Hayes had the power to take I'm care of himself. I'm not crying. I'm just tired. <laughs> the damned bloodluster. Oh, yeah, oh, that's a really awesome good warhammer. title, actually. <clears throat> You'd be fucking great as if uh, all the horrible actions that he um, does throughout this story are justified by the fact that he's slowly going insane and turning into the villain. That would be amazing. It would redeem so much. Of the author's story. note. <clears throat> author's note. So Silver now has a new friend brother from Alcornia. Also, for those who are going to say that Silver shouldn't have lost. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, with the plant magic he has. Oh, no, 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 shoot, shoot, shoot. Hold on, hold on. For all those who are going to say that Silver shouldn't have lost, it was hard for me to write, but I had to look at it objectively. Hope is a warmonger, and for secret reasons, he has something against blood letters. Lusters. His entire life has been devoted to being a blood and luster hunter. <laughs> His entire fighting style was designed to counter Silver hunter. Hayes. So, so this boy who was who was assigned at birth to be Silver Hayes' greatest protector is all is actually been trained from birth to fight him. <laughs> yes, of course. So, like, what was this like? Twenty, so, thirty thousand years ago. Yeah, I also love the idea of like <laughs> the author being physically pained. At the idea of having to write uh, Silver Haze losing, even to establish a, like that the uh, adversarial character was strong. To beat up Twilight or Luna. Plus, Luna should have been his dueling partner. Oh god. <laughs> Plus, Hope had to 
Hope had to study everything about silver from the age of three, every trick silver knew. Hope has had to know as well which gives him an advantage. Wait, wait a hot fucking so, minute. So, I thought he so didn't the, study blood magic. Right? So the entire No, they said in the of him being the, thing the that, protector. The entire that entire concept that is just all... to justify the reason why this guy knows each and every one of Silver's moves. It also might be used as a ham-fisted justification for a uh, heel face turn later on when he realizes that, like, wait, Silver is not the villain, cough, cough. That means I need to have done the bad thing and must save the world and die. <sighs> so what's going to happen now? Exactly what I just said, probably. Also, <laughs> if you guys could leave a comment with your thoughts on what's been going on in the last few chapters, I would appreciate it. I, I would can't approve it unless I get feedback. Good feedback is wanted. I'm ben, going to leave a comment. It's a fake comment. <laughs> Critics can comment, and I will read it and try and see what I could do. I'm not going to change anything that's been set in stone, but the future is always open. Lord. Okay, Hello. if this is, uh, if this is Silver Stone, Haze. if this is Stone, we should I love really you too, consider Haze. mining it and just like putting it in a place where nobody will ever use it. Oh my it's God, Silver Haze, you're so hot! Please fuck me, Silver. You're so sexy. I love you, Silver. I'm your biggest fan. I love you, Please Silver. Yay. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Well, I hope you guys join us next time for the thrilling conclusion of The Hazy Kind. I close the comment. We love you, Silver. We love you, Silver. See you next time.